Hello! <laughs> I am not here to tell you to read books, newspapers, watch English movies, or listen to audio books. They are effective in the long run, but this video is a bit different. I've shared these tricks multiple times and I know you must be following them. In this video, I'm going to share the most weird yet impactful and practical tips to improve your English. Let me tell you very honestly, they are easy to do but will only work if you make them a habit. So let's get started. Now before we dive into the tips and tricks, I want you to think about why you are watching this video and not a comedy video? Because you want to improve your English. Today, think of a specific reason for doing it. Do not pick hundreds of reasons. I want a good job. I want to crack interview. I want to speak good English in front of my friends and blah, 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 blah. No, just choose one strong reason, any reason, and make it your phone wallpaper or write it in a notebook that you can use daily or make a poster of it. Something as easy as setting reminders every day on your mobile phone will help. The key is to constantly be reminded and think about your goal. The second step you have to take is to make an actionable plan. Let's start a 30-day challenge to improve your English. Here I want to make it clear that I'm not saying you can become fluent in 30 days. It takes time. It takes time. Fluency takes time. But I want you to develop a habit of practicing every day. Research says if you can do it for at least 21 days, you can make it a habit. Prove them right. Prove all those resources right that you can make it a habit in 21 days. Yes? But the question is, how to make an actionable plan? You have one month. Take out 20 minutes every day to work on it. Pick one activity to practice daily. Or you can pick multiple activities. Your choice. Now, instead of making a 30-day plan, you can create a weekly plan. Break it down into four weeks. For example, to see the changes, record yourself speaking in English on day one and then record the same content on day seven. You will see a difference and it's a great way to measure the results. When you know why you want to do it, how you will do it and what difference it will make, half the battle is won. Now you don't have to think, you have a plan to execute. Simple. Let's move to the tricks part. Number one, send voice notes in English. The first trick is to send WhatsApp voice notes in English. I know you send a lot of messages, lot of GIFs, and lots of emojis. But from now onwards, send them in English the voice notes at least make it 70 percent 80 percent 90 percent in english works it sounds cliche but the more you speak it the more you become confident the first step towards learning spoken english is to remove the hesitation from your mind think of the situation you're having a conversation with someone in english and all you are saying is yeah yeah okay Agreed. Yes. How? Oh, actually, that's how you answer in monosyllables because you're not confident in speaking full English sentences. There's a constant thought in your mind that I might speak wrong English. Let me tell you, you're not that bad in English. If you're able to understand what I'm saying right now, that means you have a basic understanding of the language. It's the fear of being judged that is stopping you. While sending voice notes, you will have the proper time to frame the sentences in your head. And when you keep on doing it, a few sentences will start coming. Now, that 
naturally. It will become a part of your language. Yes. What next? Talk to Google Assistant. One tip I've always heard about learning spoken English is to find a partner to practice with. But honestly, finding the right partner to practice English or maybe to, to date, not easy, right? You don't get partners very easily. So finding the perfect partner to practice with is difficult. Matching the timing is also difficult. So I have a great solution for you. Let me show you what you can do. Hi, Google. Hi, it's really good to hear from you, Sukleen. I hope you and your loved ones are safe and healthy. Yes, they are. I wanted to know how would be the weather today? It will be partly cloudy with a high of 19 and a low of 9. Thank you so much, Google. I'm honored to serve. Now you saw, Google Assistant is all about speaking and listening. As you can see, Sukleen has first set the language to English because that is what she wanted to practice. She could have chosen Hindi as a language and then Google would have talked to her in Hindi. But then she chose English. That's where Google talks to you in English. She was talking slower than usual because if she speaks fast, then Google or Siri or even Alexa will not understand you. So go to concentrate on the pronunciation. You have to do the same and it's a great way to practice. Google has other features as well to improve communication skills that are useful. You can explore them, okay? The trick is the more you practice with someone who speaks fluent English, there are high chances you'll be able to build a strong vocabulary and bring fluency. Try this trick and let me know your experience. Fresh fried fish, fish fresh, fried fried fish fresh. You must be confused about this fishy thing, right? So this is a tongue twister. And the next method is using tongue twisters. To improve pronunciation and fluency in any language, tongue twisters can be useful. Tongue twisters warm up your speaking ability. To improve my communication skills, I even practice them. They are a type of diction or articulation exercise which helps you learn to speak clearly. I have seen a lot of people who face pronunciation problems with sir and sir, especially in North India. For example, instead of saying machine, they say machine. Do you hear that? Instead of machine, they say it as machine and many other challenges. They do not do it intentionally, it just comes naturally. So if you want to remove this problem, use this tongue twister. She sells seashells on the seashore. The shells she sells are surely seashells. So if she sells shells on the seashore, I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Whew. Practice it for at least one week and you'll be able to see the difference. I'm sharing a few other funny tongue twisters in the description. Do check them out. The next one is the shadowing technique. Now, shadowing technique is speaking just after someone else. Okay, like a shadow. Try this technique. You'll have a chance to practice your pronunciation, your rhythm, and your intonation. Learning something deeply or spending time on it will strengthen your memory of the words, phrases, and sentence patterns. You can learn to speak faster by shadowing for sure. So how does the shadowing technique work? Let me show you. I'm choosing a TED talk given by <laughs> Shah Rukh Khan. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, bad. Throughout the talk, he shares his thoughts on humanity, on fame and on love. I choose this one because every word, every expression and every tone is on point. It's humorous yet insightful and something that will make you think. The first step is to watch the video. The purpose of this step is to help you work out difficult words as well as to understand the context. Let's begin now. I have watched it. I'll watch it in parts to mimic it. 
I've also been made to understand there are lots of you here who haven't seen my work, and I feel really sad for you. <laughs> I've also been made to understand there are lots of you here who haven't seen my work, and I really feel sad for you. I've also been made to understand there are lots of you here who haven't seen my work. I've also been made to understand there are lots of you out here who haven't seen my work, and I feel really sad for you. Repeat the process many times until you can read it at the same speed as it is being delivered. This is a very interesting process. You'll begin to enjoy it. Master one speech and then move on to another. The next trick is the 432 activity. Yes, 432. Now, what do you do? You prepare a speech on any topic of your choice. It can be about your favorite movie the happiest moment of your life, your last memory or anything. Pick an interesting topic so that you have great content to write about. Next, you practice delivering the speech, giving yourself four minutes using a timer. Then repeat the same speech, giving yourself three minutes. And finally, try again, giving yourself two minutes. This time, record yourself. The reason for repeating the speech is to allow you to focus on improving your vocabulary as you already know what you are going to say each time. The reason for reducing time is to see an improvement in fluency. This means you hesitate less and speak at a more natural speed. You would also turn the activity upside down and start with a two minute speech. Turn it into a three minute speech and then finally a four minute speech. What will happen? This will give you practice elaborating on your ideas. If you have trouble speaking for four minutes at a time, this is a suitable method for you. Continued practice with either technique will enhance your fluency. That's all for today's video. Hope you learned something from it. I tried my best to bring the best content for you and would highly recommend practicing. Now, I have an exercise for you. Pause this video and write your one week plan in the comment section. Let's help each other in building a plan and becoming good communicators. Till then, stay awesome, stay productive.